Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Senang jumpa lagi dengan you guys with me Mr. Suyadi Nat. In this video I would like to explain how to face uh, an examination for your thesis. Kepada video kali ini pada channel Indonesian English TV I would like to explain I would uh, I would like to give you tips how to face an examination for your thesis proposal Okay bagaimana kan biasanya kita para mahasiswa ini ketika akan menghadapi sebuah ujian skripsi kita cemasnya tinggi dan juga persiapan kita mungkin kurang di sini. Oke, okay, khusus in this channel the for English department students when you are finish completed the third chapters for your writing thesis, so you need to move one step up that is a exam for your proposal. Oke, okay, dalam menghadapi seminar proposal itu Anda tidak perlu ragu. Yang pertama dan yang paling utama, tentu Anda harus mempersiapkan diri tentang bab 1, bab 2, dan bab 3. Sebagaimana yang telah Anda jalani selama proses bimbingan dengan dosen pembimbing Anda. Dan di dalam video ini, Anda bisa mempelajari sejumlah pertanyaan-pertanyaan yang dimungkinkan muncul oleh para penguji pada saat Anda menghadapi ujian skripsi. Tahu juga bahkan sejumlah pertanyaan lagi dari para pembimbing Anda. Biasanya untuk bahasa Inggris, prodi bahasa Inggris itu pembimbingnya ada dua, pembimbing satu dan pembimbing kedua. Kemudian pengujinya juga biasanya juga ada dua penguji satu dan penguji dua dan anda tidak perlu merasa cemas dan merasa khawatir untuk menjawab semua pertanyaan itu karena all the questions are related to what you have done and what you have read for preparing your thesis. Okay, first of all, you need to write that uh, what have you need to be presented to the seminar is that you um, the, the advisors give you chance in maybe it depends on the uh, institution where you have uh, studied okay uh, for your presentation time uh, some of lecturers give you 15 minutes to present your 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 thesis here yeah? to ex to explain in detail chapter one chapter two and chapter three okay to prepare your presentation for chapter one what have you need to prepare uh, or, or the questions related to the first quest first uh, chapter is related to why do you choose the title okay why when the examiners asking you about the reason why you choose the titles you need to explain you need to answer in detail uh, why you choose the titles you don't need to go around the bush without coming directly to the point the answers but of course the, the explanations or detailed explanations are needed to make it sure that you do, that you really understand that you really master with your own titles okay and mostly and the next questions and what is the research questions for your thesis and to make it sure about the systematic of writing thesis for strata one you can watch also my video in my previous videos on indonesian english tv where i uploaded the videos about 
writing qualitative thesis, quantitative thesis. The next is mixed method research. So you can watch again about the videos to make it sure about the design of your thesis. And you can follow the systematic of my video in there. And then uh, lecturers or the examiners asking you about the research questions. And in some study pro English study program in, in other universities, uh, we, it is uh, foremost with the formulation of the research and or research questions, of course, you have to know about the research that you really want to do, okay? Because the research questions are the, the, the topics or the main things that you need to answer along with your conducting research till the end of your thesis. So, for example, the research questions is related about the implementation of best practicing strategies in senior high schools, maybe uh, 10 grades. So you gonna do your research relates all about the implementation of English in best practicing strategies. And you do not go around the bush, do not go everywhere. That's all related about the strategy in teaching. And to build up the theories, of course, you may write another strategies and compare to the strategy strategies. And the first question is the reason why you choose the titles. The second is the formulation of the research or the research questions that's becoming the, the, the core of your research. All the research you want to do is related to, the, related to the research questions because you have to answer the research questions. And then another thing that question could be appear in your seminar examinations is about the designs of your research. The designs of your research, uh, you, that you are free. Maybe the designs of your, your research is qualitative. You need to know more about the theory in qualitative research. And if it is about classroom action research, you need to read all the books, all the resources related to the classroom action research. They are actually different. Yeah? In, in, in terms of uh, designs of research. So in terms of you use the mixed methods research, of course you need to combine where you have to, to collect the data in two kinds, in quantitative and then you need to qualify the results by explaining the results. This mixed method is uh, the combination between uh, quantitative research and qualitative research. And of course, uh, the designs, you have to know, you have to master the designs. And of course, maybe uh, some examiners will give you kind of uh, snowball questions. Snowball questions meaning that the, the, the examiners will give you one question, but your answer will make another question. And later, another answer will make another question. That depends on the examiners that want you to answer the questions. And some other lecturers, of course, uh, I, I, I believe that you know already about the, the characteristic of your own lectures in your institutions or in your, in your university. And if you know that he is or she is one of a kind of a killer 
lecturers, of course, they will keep you questions in the uh, in the expression in the facial expression that's really really strange. That's you do not be panicked facing that kind of lectures because they just uh, give you tests on your mentality when you face him or her in the situation of a seminar proposal for your thesis. And you, first, of course, you need to know, or maybe you have already known about the characteristic of the lecturers. And some other lecturers, uh, some other le uh, examiners, uh, try to test you about another question sometimes not uh, doesn't have relations to your thesis proposal but they will only to know that, but they only want to know about your mentalities when the questions are not related to the thesis it's, uh, maybe they asking you about your hobby and whatever that they like to give you questions that's do not be panic. You just be easy because some teachers there is actually they are your or your parents in the university, and do not be panic and do not be worried much. If you read your thesis, if you read your resources by yourself, and and if you believe that there is no one writing on your thesis only for your own benefits. You pay some money for them and then you just take the, uh, the, the, the thesis ready without taking any knowledge inside of your thesis. So believe me, you can answer all the questions. First, do not be panicked for facing the, uh, the, 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 the thesis proposal. First of all, you got to read from the beginning till the end. Uh, I, I care. I repeat again uh, some questions that maybe appears in the exam. That's why do you choose the titles and what is or what are the research questions or the formulation of the research of your thesis and then what is the designs of your thesis and probably some lecturers asking you about how Will you collect the data for your research? And what kind of sampling you use for your data later? And you have to master all. And if you master, I believe you can pass the exams and then you can continue to do your research. But please don't be panic. And while presenting your thesis using slides, of course, you don't need to read in details your thesis. You just read the point of every chapter and then after telling the points, you can explain without reading the text, without reading the thesis in details because you just need to present the slides, not to read the thesis. If you read the thesis, this is not presentation, it's reading presentation. And also, I almost forgot to say about the references. Okay, listen, Re references is very, very important for uh, educational writing like this. Okay, every resource that you took for your thesis, it should be written in your references. Some students are really careless. They write the names on the body text, on the body of your thesis, of your thesis but you didn't write in references. And some of you, you write in the references, but there is nothing in the body text. And if you do this, this is very blatant that for the lecturers that you just taken for, uh, from other resources without reading it. Knowing also here for Strata 1 in Indonesia, the references, minimum 25 references, consists of, for English department students, 80% uh, the, the writers or the authors or the articles coming from 
and in other countries. Another 20% can be from Indonesians or our country's writers, articles, or the authors. That's 80% for foreigners, authors, and 20% for our country's experts. Okay? Uh, because you, an English department student, it should be like that. It is minimum. It could be books, uh, could be articles from the journals, could be anything else that really important for you to be taken to your enrichment of your thesis. And please be ready. And for any of the uh, preparations for facing the results, exams for your thesis, I will have another videos. Please don't forget to subscribe in my channel, Indonesian English TV, for your enrichment uh, resources for your English uh, language. As the name says, that Indonesian English TV, this is the English of Indonesian stylists. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, share to your friends, and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.